welcome to another episode of Don't Burn the Day. Today we continue our series of the pioneers of the ADA. Today we will be covering the life of Ed Roberts. Ed Roberts is considered the father of the independent living uh, movement. For those that don't know what NIP, independent living series are, they are series where people with disabilities uh, can work to advocate for for themselves and they help other people with disabilities find resources and Ed Roberts was one of the key figures that helped uh, propel, propel independent living centers to go nationwide. Today, we will discuss his story. And I personally think he is a, um, he is one of my personal heroes. Um, but first, I'd like to thank everyone for listening to last week's show. Um, Shirley will be back on Monday from Monday's show. And let's deal with today's show. Uh, Mr. Ed Roberts was born January 23rd, 1939 in San, San Mateo, California. He, <clears throat> he would contract polio after his whole family would uh, also contract the disease, but he would get a worse case of polio being uh, being paralyzed from the neck down with all the use of two fingers on his left hand. Um, he would spend a total of 18 months in the hospital, often contemplating suicide. It would reach a boiling point where all his nurses would um, walk off the of Ed's case because Ed decided not to eat any anything and would go on a hunger strike. But um, Ed's mother, Zona, was integral in getting him back on track, and after the 18 months, he would um, come come home. He would have to spend most of his time in an iron lung, which for those that <laughs> don't know what an iron lung is, it's a big metal metal tube contraption that 
would help a person with polio be able to breathe better. And when Ed wasn't in the iron lung, he, he, he would develop a method called frog, frog breathing, <clears throat> where he would um, take slow um, breaths, kind of kind of resem resembling a frog, to help him get <clears throat> through through the uh, day when he wasn't using his um, um, ventilator. Um, and would uh, go to school by use of a telephone and also, he would be um, able to attend school only one day a week, thanks to his mother's own uh, push, pushing for it through the school system. And Edward complete most of his high school uh, needed classes, but he faced resistance. With resistance to getting his full high school diploma because he did not complete driver, driver's ed nor physical education. And so his teachers did not want to um, give him the marks to be able to graduate. However, um, he did graduate and then went to a community college in San, San Mateo, California, before getting, um, going to the University of UCLA LA at, San, at Berkeley. Um, in 1962, but he did face some resistance to that um, from the Board of Admissions. Some people said we we have um, we have tried crippled before and they didn't work out. However, other members on the board of accepted its application and um, one major factor was he had to bring his Iron Lung and the only place to house it was the campus in, in Forbury. And this would become a dormitory for other disabled students. And would open the door for other just a disabled students for me, a group called the Rolling 
quad er yeah. and they would push for curb cuts and other accessibility um issues to be passed in uh on the campus. Uh, he would also um, be a integral part of the students with disabilities to form a club or a or organization and he would receive his uh, ba bachelor's and his master's in 1964 and 1966 respectively. Ed would go on to uh, teach a political science at a small college pictures that match. before being asked to um, come work at the Center for Independent Living and wasn't the first to start the Center of Independent Living, but he was the one of the major players that would push the idea forward to make this a um, nation, nationwide, um, nationwide, uh, thing, and he would go on to run the uh, the voc vocational we have of California after the governor appointed him the leader of the organization that um, originally turned him down and said he was too handicapped to attend college. So that is a bit ironic for a person that is deemed too handicapped to be able to run the same org organization that told <clears throat> that just this uh decided that form um that told that years prior uh <clears throat> and would go on to uh be a major player in the disability rights movement uh opening the uh world world um world center on disability with uh, uh the international center of disability with Judith 
human and other uh, disabled disability advocates. Um, he would also go on to have a son and be married and have the pleasure of going through the voice I say that jokingly. He was married from 1976 to 82 and would go on to have a son and he was there working with um working with the Justin Darts and the Judith Humans and the Jennifer Ch Chapin Chapman or Jennifer Keeley to help push the age ADA uh, to fruition on July 26th, 1990. But none of this would be possible without him. Uh, flying from uh, California to uh, DC with without without um his uh oxygen I mean without his uh Uh, accident, um, but he saw that as something he had, had to do to be able to push the ADA forward and be able to set the um, people that came after him and the other advocates after, after them up for success. So anything they, he did. Uh, and the rest of the advocates did were, was worth was worth it. So, like I said before, I thank each and every one of them for taking the ball by the horns and the, taking no for an answer. And that not giving up. Mr. Roberts would go on to pass on March 14th, 95, leaving quite a legacy by, by he would pass of cardiac arrest. The uh, year after um, his death, uh, his uh, birthday so his birthday is known as Ed Roberts Day um, in the 
uh, in California as well as the disability movement. Um, I am honored to be one of the people of, affected by his legacy. I just hope that I can live up to and help other people like his legacy has helped many like me. So with that, we honor Mr. Ed Burley Roberts for being a pioneer of the ADA as well as the Center for uh, Center for um, Independent Living. Thanks. And, and with that, we say, don't worry today. This has been AJ Martins. With episode two of the Pioneer series of the ADA.